Okay, I was using my wheelbarrow and uh, you can see what happened. This thing is probably 18 to 20 years old. Yeah, at least that. My youngest is 20 and I had it before uh, she came along. So uh, it's been fantastic and these things are not cheap. They're not cheap. So uh, I uh, got to thinking like I always do, maybe I can fix it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to fix my wheelbarrow and I'm taking you along just to show you that, yeah, uh, you can save some money if you can tackle some projects yourself. So it looks like it broke down here too. Um, so anyway, I put this double wheel on here later on it had a single wheel on there and that was just a double wheel kit so that even makes it uh, more valuable to attempt to fix the hardware's here we got some screws some screws here the only weak part it seems is the wood and here's the parts and pieces to fix it i've got the two batus there they're eight foot long I need a five foot piece off of each one of those and I got new stainless steel screws we need to put this thing together uh, so I used two of the better older screws to do the end here and that was the first piece I did all the way across there and next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mount it onto the wheelbarrow itself we have these mounted now we need to mount the wheels and it starts the wheels mounted here and it's also um, bolted into a bracket for the wheel itself here. So let's drill those holes. All the hardware's on. And we got really long handles. <laughs> Okay, I cut a couple of feet off over here. It was way out there. And um, you could leave it just like this if you don't mind, you know, grabbing it square like that. It might be a little uncomfortable. I'm going to take my router and I'm going to round the edges a little bit and sand it to kind of keep from getting splinters. Here's the finished handle, rounded and sanded off. It's just so I don't you know, get a splinter. That's it. That uh, concludes the build. It is completely done, guys. Saved me a little bit of money. The reason why I did this video is uh, I think it's a good idea sometimes to try to save some money and do some stuff yourself. And I hope that um, maybe someone will see this and go, I'm going to fix my wheelbarrow instead of uh, buying a new one or I'm going to fix this or fix that because it's not too difficult a lot of times. Sprint, we'll see you later.